welcome to Beedale and a friendly drivable par 4 to start 260 yards and downhill and we don't lay up on the YouTube channel so we're going for it with a 3 wood and I've pulled it left onto the cart path first instalment of the hidden gems and we're here at Beedale Golf Club what a lovely looking place, greens are like glass. It's quite blustery today, so I'm just gonna try my best to shoot somewhere near par. That is the goal here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to enjoy the journey to scratch golf. Let's go make birdie. Right, I've taken a drop off the cart path. Not the easiest shot here, it's all running away from me on the green, but it is into the wind. I'm on a slight down slope. Just want to land this on the green and let it roll down with a bit of height. Played that quite nicely in the end. Take those treats. Uphill, greens are rapid, slightly left to right at the beginning and then maybe straightening. And you've got to whack a like on the video if it goes in. Or even if it doesn't. Not sure how that's missed, in fact. Didn't quite just come back to the left at the end, but a solid par, no qualms. Right then, the gauntlet is set. We have a par five second hole, reachable with a good drive, although there's a gigantic tree which I have to go straight over. And that's what we're gonna do. I pulled it left. Fortunately, there's a gigantic clearing there, but I might be blocked out for my second. Well, we'll go and see, because I've never played here before. Not exactly my best tee shot. Left was definitely better than right, though, but I can't get to the green, so I'm laying up. 99 should get over these trees and leave me short of the beck that's somewhere up there that I can't see. I've hit it straight in the tree, get through. Oh, dear. So many bits of lumber, I've not seen it down. Never seen a bug hotel on the golf course before, but that's cool. Well, as you can probably guess from the footage, this is not how I drew it up. I've still got 127 to the green, but there is a ditch. I've got an a iron on a severe downslope, and it's just a chip out, because anything else would be a disaster at this point. I think I've just crept onto the fairway, so that was a win. Well, it's a bit of a ropey start. However, one good shot here sets us up with a par putt, which would be great. Pins on a back ledge, so I've got a three quarter sand wedge. That's the option. Going straight at it, as you would expect. Line's good. Uh, distance isn't. Just didn't quite hit that hard enough and I'm going to have a tester for par. Well, so far this hole is not going to plan, I think it's fair to say. However, I'm not arrogant enough to believe that I can hit perfect golf shots all the time, so we're just gonna move on. It's not that downhill though. Could have seen that coming. All right, we'll move on from that quickly. Let's go make some birdies and not trip over on the green. Okie dokie, stroke index one after a not so well played hole. Slight left to right dog leg par four. Driver it is, just a little fade off the trees down there. Keep fading. Started it on a perfect line and it is fading. That is pretty much as good as I can do. I'm delighted. I think it's about 112 to the flag, so I'm just gonna hit a 52. I'm just gonna aim 10 feet right of it because I don't think there's much room left of this pin.
That needs to sit. I'm going to blame my watch for that because that's over the back. Something definitely went awry there with my watch. I've airmailed the green and now have a slippery, slippery chip. It's also not a very good lie, so I'm going to have to engage my buttery soft hands. See if they are somewhere today. And I've gone straight under it from a very muddy lie. And we essentially got the same shot again from a slightly improved lie. That mud's not going to help it roll down the slope. That's a very good putt in the end. Fortunately managed to hold my nerve. And we're still in the game. Come on! Okay, Paul's going to take you through this fourth hole then. And the blows seem to keep coming, don't they, Paul? They do. This is stroke index three. It's a dog leg right to left into the wind. And it's 4.07 off the yellow. So it's a pretty tricky hole. Yeah. Um, good drive needed, I think. It's gone high in the air, which is probably not advised into the wind. But I think I found a fair way. Right, well, we just had a nice chat with the greenskeeper who was hopefully checking out the channel. So shout out to you, my friend. I didn't catch your name, I'm sorry. I've caught the fairway or the right edge of it and I'm somewhat blocked out by the trees. So I'm having to hit a fade, which with my seven iron probably isn't in the arsenal exactly, but it should also feed from the left as well. So here goes nothing. I played a blinder, be the right club, please. Oh, it's taken a soft bounce. But I'm putting and I'm ecstatic about that one. Yeah, I like the I like the thin bottoms, big fan of that. It's like me. Reasonably well built at the top, but still thin and then really spindly at the bottom. Um I think now now that I've got to the green. I've fallen out with that greenskeeper because that is a diabolical flag, especially from where I'm putting from. It's uphill and then it's going to absolutely fly to the right in the last five feet. Here we go. Now it doesn't look great on camera, but it's at least a straight uphill putt and I don't know how I'd have got it closer without dropping it in. Did a bit of a round the world on its way home, but not really fussed as long as it goes in. And I'll take a par on that hole. Right, well, I'm happy with the par there, but we now have a short par four, or shorter at 340. But it doesn't look any easier. I can see some white stakes up the right. Obviously don't want to go there. I've got four iron and there's a lone tree right through that gap. And a little draw off that is exactly what I'm trying to achieve here. And I've hit a thin fade into a tree that I didn't think was really in play. Fortunately, I've got past it. That's not how I drew it up when I stood over that ball. That was bordering on awful. Fortunately, it was so bad I've actually got away with it. There's a lot of grass between my club face and ball here. So I'm hitting a wedge to about a 140 pin, hoping for a flyer. And really anywhere near the front edge of the green would be a win here, I think. Be good, please. Took a little hop. Looks like we're safely aboard, and that's the shot of the day for me. And you, oh, I take it back. It was still rolling. Probably got about 90 feet now, annoyingly. Now I really appreciate everybody that takes the time to come and watch these videos. I appreciate that some of the golf can be comical at times, but I'm trying my best to get to scratch golf, and I'm also trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button. It would really help out the channel. So thank you very much. Let's go make a bomb from downtown. Moral of the story is never say be good until the ball has stopped. Cause I'm miles away now. 63 feet here. Two putts would be incredible. Please go. 
Oh, not enough juice. Could say that about a lot of my putts, unfortunately. More right to left than I thought, in fact. I suppose I didn't deserve a par after the tee shot, honestly. So I'll have to take a bogey and be happy about it, if that's even possible. OK, golfers, things not quite going to plan. However, a couple of good holes is all it takes to bring it back. Fairly short par four, but not drive up as it's tucked behind those trees on the left. So I've got hybrid going at the left edge of the bunker up the right. Probably shouldn't tee it that high, otherwise I'm skying it. That's right as well. Fortunately, it's so bad that it's fine. And the questionable shots continue. Well, this is scary. I've actually hit the perfect tee shot for this hole location, but it's so far back left. Downwind, it's about 140. On the green, 15 feet right of it with a wedge is the goal here. Not messing with that thing. Or pulled it straight at it and nearly gone OB beyond the green. I need a new watch. My range finder's all kinds of messed up. And that's the excuse I'm sticking with. There is absolutely no future here. I'm just gonna dump it into the long grass and hope it stays on the top tier. And it'll be a miracle if I get this tight. Hit the flag. Honestly, would we'll take that 10 out of 10 times. This would feel like stealing, but a par save here would make me very happy. But we'll just add to the bad shots on this hole because that never started online and you'll be able to see it on camera. Got to keep ploughing on. Right, slight correction in that I'm only four over, I say only. Golf is hard and very frustrating. But I'm going to change the narrative. We've got a very gettable par five. Lashing driver up the left centre. And we'll go from there. It might need a bounce right. It was a bit toey. Oh, that's okay. It's not my best, but we've got a look at it from there, I think. Well, if you've managed to stick it out until now, you're a real one. I'm changing the narrative. I'm going to turn it around. We're going to make a good shot here, although everything's against me. I'm on a severe downslope, and I have to hit a hook six iron around the trees, and even that I don't think is going to get to the green, but we'll see how it goes. Believe in yourself. Bit thin, but it's kind of what I have in mind. I think I'm going to come up short right. But out of everything that could have happened there, that's a good result. This approach actually did better than I thought, although there's a lot to unpick when you get to the green. Not sure how easy this is to see from the camera, but there's such a massive slope, both left of the flag as I look at it and beyond it. So I'm going to try and use it to my advantage. Just a little bit too far. I am going to make this, but it's not without its dangers. It's a foot of right to left in a five foot putt. Oh, it just dribbled in on the left. And we're back. First birdie of the day, first of many. Come on! Right, the game is afoot, we're off and running although we've arrived at a 440 yard par four into the wind. So two very good big blows required. I'll snap your hand off for a four here. I nearly missed the ball. Jonathan Reynolds, that was terrible. And now you know my full name. I mean, I think I'll get away with it to some degree, but it's a long way home from there. 
Well, in no world was I expecting to be in the first cut of rough on the right side of the fairway. But I'm not going to complain too much. I've got a long way to go. It's 2.07 to the middle and I've got six iron. Just trying to roll this onto the green. I pulled it a bit. I need the wind to help me. It's trying. No, it's not going to help me enough. Just short left of the green, I think. Not too bad. Tell you what, green fee of £30 for greens as good as this. No complaints from me. Shame I can't quite pull it together with the clubs, but never mind. Not too upset with the approach. Thought the tee shot would be a mile worse than it was. So an up and down here would be delightful. Just chipping straight up the hill pretty much. Get all the way up there. Oh, we've left ourselves a little bit of work. And I've actually decided I don't want to put the camera directly behind the line of my putt because I don't want you all to see my iffy putting stroke. Oh, it's not straight, it's gone right. Oh, I hate golf sometimes. It's such a frustrating game. Gorgeous backdrop for this hole. 155 yard par three. I've got a nice eight iron. Just take a little bit off it because I feel like it's slightly downwind and pitch it halfway up the green, hopefully. Oh, finally hit a golf shot. Sit. Oh baby. We're back. Like we were two holes ago. <laughs> yes! Finally. I've resorted to jaunty angles for the camera to avoid getting close to my putting stroke. But I've got a putt for two up the hill. This would be big for morale. I don't believe it. Best putt of the day, still won't go in. Drat. Oh, that deserved better. I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't actually realise that was the end of the front nine. Hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out.